stay safe in the crazy world. And um, you just saw the little trailer that um, we showed. Um, with some of the techniques that I use to teach this workshop or this course, there are about 10 different techniques and I use them on a daily basis in order to be able to get on with my life, in order to be able to stay sane with this head of mine as a heard. <laughs> so, but today here in the front room, um, and it's Mental Health Week UK, um, I'd like to give you one technique in particular which I feel is going to change your life completely. And anyone can use this technique. Now, I learned this technique from the 12 step group, so I can't really say that I invented it, unfortunately. But I learned it from 12 step groups. And if you use this on a daily basis, it will help you stay healthier, more relaxed, and uh, stay, basically, safer, <laughs> more balanced uh, as you're dealing through our chaotic life. So the name of this technique is HALT, H-A-L-T, HALT. Okay, so what does that mean? What does HALT mean? Okay, so H, don't get too hungry, okay? So you're not going to get hungry today because you've got the front room and you've got food. I always pack sandwiches with me because I'm doing free. But if you get too hungry, guys, your blood sugar may drop. And if your blood sugar drops, then your head will go all over the place. And uh, it won't be that easy to cope, you know? So make sure you have like little bits of food through the day. My mother, bless her, used to say that you need to eat like a king at breakfast eat like a queen at lunch and a pauper at dinner. Now it's really interesting that um, I've been to Buddhist retreats and after four o'clock you stop eating because the body metabolizes food a lot easier earlier on in the day. But you need to eat, you need to keep your blood sugar at a normal level. Don't have too much sugar because then it spikes up and goes down very quickly. Maybe a piece of fruit, something healthy. So that's the H. Don't get too hungry. Now A. Don't get too angry. <laughs> now, I'm a bit of a retroholic. And that's why I go on stage and I get rid of it. I do breakdowns on the stage. But basically, if you get too angry, you're going to get depressed. Not only are you going to get depressed, but the anger will get built up inside you if you don't find a way how to release it, like some kind of hobby or something, or just running around uh, in the woods and hitting the trees and crying and screaming. Anything. Don't get too angry. Okay? Because if you get too angry, you don't express it, you become passive and aggressive. And then it will come out sideways and all over the place, or you'll bury it deep inside yourself, and then you become depressed. Okay, so depression is usually deep uh, resentment, anger, fear, things like that, that have been building up and up and up and up. So don't get too angry. If you feel that you're being triggered, Take a deep breath, take a break, do something you love, cuddle your animal, cuddle the pet, you know, talk to a friend, bring the Samaritans. I bring the Samaritans a lot when I, you know, to talk about my feelings, there's no harm in doing that. Um, the number is 116123 if you're in the UK. So don't get too angry. Okay now, L, what does L stand for? Don't get too lonely. Loneliness is a killer. There is much too much loneliness in the UK. And that's why we're really lucky to have places like the front room, places that we can come out to where you don't have to be lonely, where you get a lovely smiling face from Lauren and Glory here. 
and I'm people are just really friendly. So don't get too lonely. Because when you get too lonely and isolate, you're going to feel depressed and it's going to be much more difficult to get through your life. So join a social group. Um, pick up a hobby. There's lots of things you can do. And if you can't and you're feeling really, really lonely, then maybe get some counseling, some therapy. There's no harm in doing that. Or yet again, ring the Samaritans. The Samaritans are very good to talk to. Or maybe knock on the door of your neighbor. You know, I come from a community, I grew up in the Middle East, and people usually wander into each other's houses. So, you know, maybe your neighbor next door is feeling really lonely as well. But you guys, don't get too lonely. And number four, don't get too tired. Now, if you get too tired, you'll get sleep deprivation, and your head will not be able to cope, your body will be exhausted. And it will be a lot more difficult for you to get through the day. So if you get too tired, you're not going to be able to function the way you'd like to function. So, basically make sure you get a little bit of sleep. And if you can't sleep, then maybe meditate. Meditation is a good way to refresh the body, the mind, the body, and the spirit. And if you do some meditation, even if it's a few minutes a day, your blood sugar will drop, your blood pressure will drop, you will feel a lot calmer, and you may not need as much sleep. You know, sometimes when I do meditation retreats, I don't need to sleep as much. So there you go. One technique that encompasses four factors, very, very important factors, that if you or anybody you know use them through the day, through your life, you'll find it easier to cope. Don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. And that's how to stay sane in the crazy world. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things that I do, thank you, has anybody got any questions? You got a question? Idea was hope. <laughs> How did I find hope? Oh, yes. Okay, well, I wish that I had created hope, but I didn't. I just had it hold in the 12 step group. Um, when people go to learn the 12 steps, um, I had an eating disorder and codependency, and that's where I learned H A L T, hold. So, does that answer your question? I would like to go more. Any other questions? Does it help to stabilize mood? What holds? Yes. Well, I would have thought so, because if you don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired, you're going to be more balanced. If you eat properly and you rest, and if you're going out and being with people or doing something that you love, with, and you're not building up your anger to the point where it blows up, then of course it's going to help you move in some way. I would have thought. Okay, we're going to go on to the cards. How to stay sane in a crazy world. I created these cards for people. You can get them here if you want, they're £10 a packet. But they've got a lot of great wisdom in them that you can use during the day. They're not angel cards, they're down to earth cards that can be used. So let me choose a card. Or would you like to choose a card? Let me choose a card. Right, you choose a card. Right, and we're going to choose a card, and then we're going to read what the card says. Laura, would you like to choose a card? Then Lion's coming to choose a card as well. But, um, thank you. Are you? <laughs> yes. Right, okay, so choose a card and then we're going to have a quick chat about how this may refer to you because it's your uniqueness and we'll choose the card that's right for you. Okay, go for it. Are you happy to be on the video? I know. 
What did you choose? What do I read out? I'll tell you what, read it to yourself first and then say, hopefully this is going to mean something to you. Because <laughs> basically the cards are common sense, down to earth, daily things that you can do to help you have an easier day. Coming up 